congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing, amazing performances. Really, really important subject matter. I can imagine working with someone like Ken Loach is amazing, but to be on a set with him on such an important story for, for this time in the UK was, was a joy. Yeah, he's just a great guy to be around, you know. He's, he, not only is, it, is he a great director and he, he gives you that you know, sense of freedom when you're working, but he's just such a lovely guy as well. He just knows everything about everybody. He's the, he's the true um, essence of what a humanitarian <laughs> probably should be, so, yeah. I think for my first film, he really gave us a warm welcome into the industry. Great. Yeah, I mean, I, I spoke to someone the other week about um, a film called Official Secrets about how important film is to tell these stories when people in modern day kind of use news to kind of they swipe through news stories without seeing what's going on. I mean, how important do you think film is for telling these kind of stories, especially in in the times that we're living now? I think it's massively important because the the issue is is that the media tends not to report on a great many things. So, you know, I have a friend who sends me a lot of you know, news from other countries, uh, from where he's originally from. And when I read some of the, you know, the news reports that he sends me, I'm like asking myself, why is this not on TV? This is massive. But yeah, so it's important. And that's why filmmakers like Ken do what they do. Yeah. And you're, I mean, the, the relationship between the four of you is just, is just extraordinary. I mean, it, it feels very much like you're watching a documentary in some ways, in the sense that it looks like Ken's giving you this freedom to tell the story as if it was unfolding. Um, how is it working as a, as a group? Because the four of you seem to seem to get on fantastic. We we're, were seriously just like a family on screen and off screen. We just messed about all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We just played games and messed about all the time. The scene that we shot in the van. Before we shot that, because it was a night shoot, and obviously Katie had been at school, I went to the shop and got them a Kinder Bueno each. So when they had it, they were full of sugar. <laughs> so we were literally just messing it. That was the best scene. We were just messing about in that van. Yeah, I guess it's good as well in the sense that, because you're dealing with such a uh, serious subject matter, that in between takes, in between you, that you have that kind of energy oh, gosh, between yeah. you. It must, that that must, must be as important as the story that you're telling. Yeah, but it's like that on most sets. You know, mm. You'd be surprised, you know. Um, whatever you're working on, you 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 have to step away from what you're doing, otherwise it just it'd fry your head. Yeah, yeah. How was it going in for you going into this this world? Because it's a world that so many people kind of live in at the moment, and to to make ends meet for their family, particularly in these kind of areas, you have to do push yourself so hard. I mean, how was it kind of going into that environment? Did you have to do much research? Or so, yeah, well, I've been a gas engineer for um, you know a great many years, so I'd, I'd always drove around, got stuck in traffic. Um, you know, dealt with customers that, you know, sometimes weren't the, the best people to deal with, you know, dealt with clients that didn't want to pay me. So I've already gone through all those frustrations of living that life. And the wife's, my wife was a care worker as well. So it was, it was pretty much mine and my wife's life story, to be honest <laughs> with you. So. Yeah. And for you as a young actress, I mean, how is it being in a film like this? Because it's such an important subject matter. And for you guys who are young at the moment, perhaps not getting your, your say as to what is kind of happening in, in the UK particularly at the moment? Yeah, um, it's really like, it's a really hefty film and I'm so glad that I got to show what it, how it affects people, you know, like the children who, although they don't have to work, they're still getting the effects of it. Yeah. Mm. Um, let me ask you about your two co-stars, who are just incredible in the movie, and they, all four of you have so such important parts to play to to bring that narrative together. I know you've touched upon how good it was, but how how good was it watching you guys, watching them, and then them watching you? Because it must have been great to see everybody bring in such a great level of performance every day. We weren't on set together a great deal, you know. Oh really? Um, the scenes where we are working together, you're that in the scene that you don't. You, you don't really take in what's going on, if you know what I mean. You can't, you kind of like, you can't step back from it and mm. go. Do, do you know? Do you understand? Know, because you, you you're kind of locked into the character, aren't you? You're locked into what's going on, and you focused on that. So yeah. The, but the thing was, is when we we all went and watched the screening, didn't we? Yeah. In a private screening in London after Ken had cut it, and when we watched that, we weren't watching ourselves. We were watching each mm. other. And it was only then we got to know what the whole film was about because 
you know, we never got the full script, did we? It was yeah. great piecing things together, like, oh, that's what happened on that day and yeah. stuff. And yeah. It was great. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.